Hi everyone, thanks for stopping in today. I have a Stitch Fix, I think this is 72, 73. It'll be in the uh, title. I'm trying to think if it's 72 or 73. I have no idea, I've lost track, but I'll know in just a second. This is a um, women, men, and kids clothing box. You can get it as often as you like or as less often as you need or want or can afford. Um, buy what you love, send back what you don't. Let me just show you here. They send you a USPS priority mail envelope to send back the items that you don't love. Um, you have three days to decide. You can extend it. I always, ex I don't think there's one box in all these years that I haven't extended. Keep all five items, receive a 25% discount. You do check out online. Um, they have a style shuffle that you can do every 24 hours to help guide the algorithm and your stylist to send you products. I still, as far as I know, they're still a $20 styling fee, but I've heard from more than one of you now that some they're waiving a lot of that. They're revamping their system. So I heard they're not offering the style pass anymore. I have the style pass that's good till next June, I think, May or something like that. I paid $49. It's good for the entire year, 365 days. And I received the $49 back as a credit as soon as you pay for it. And you could use that as like a forever credit. And, um, you know, $20 styling fee, it's like a use or lose. If you keep one item, you have a $20 credit. And if you send everything back, then you forfeit and it becomes a styling fee. You receive this, which is your style note, stylist note, and then the items in your box with a little style tip which I'm not going to look at right now I'm just going to show you the items and hopefully I can come right back and try them all for you then you receive the bill the invoice and this is fixed 73 so I was incorrect all right there it says 73 at the top and I don't want to look at that until I try stuff on um, this way I'm not swayed by price so I'm just going to take all this fun stuff and put it back here and I'm going to show you the first item and this is from Nine Britain um, Chiavari collared long sleeve knit top black medium. So this is a nice collared top ribbing long sleeve. This is black right here um, button placard in the front does have a collar which i love a collared shirt straight bottom this one doesn't seem as bad materialized because generally i don't like tops like that but we'll give that one a try that's not out of the question the next item oh this is a nice one i think i saw these in style shuffle oh that's a turtleneck i don't know about that where's their tag is it inside the collar usually and this is pink clover Karis turtleneck sweater red medium petite so as you can see it is a turtleneck which i'm generally not a fan of i would prefer like a mock but this is beautiful straight hem let's fix this nice um like mid-weight sweater ribbing back is the same as the front you can see that little print there cute I like that. I just don't know if I'm a fan of the turtleneck. Ooh, the next one's nice too. I definitely saw this in the style shuffle and did like it. So they sent it from Letty and me. Um, Auburn long sleeve sweater, dark gray, medium petite. I thought this was adorable. Nice like print, geometric print. Beautiful here rounded neckline trimmed in dark gray same pattern on the back and this is dark gray but it has some black in it i thought with gray gray jeans black jeans dress pants that this would be beautiful i'm not sure now seeing it if it's too much so we'll try that one on and now patches is gonna whimper because she was just brought upstairs and she doesn't want to be upstairs per se so i will get her in just a minute the next one is pink clover scotta hood knit top olive medium i don't need any more tops like this oh this has ribbing at the bottom so that's going to be a no this is a shame because this would be warm 
nice olive color. You can see the hood. Button placard. Yeah, this is not, it's going to go on be too long, and that is not for me. And the last thing in here, what are you? Miss Patches. Ooh, I don't, I'm not sure about this. Letty and Me, Tam, Tamsin Long Sleeve Cardigan Dark Gray, and this is a medium. I don't think so with the fringe all over the place. There's fringe at the sleeve. I'm not sure about this open cardigan work because it's chilly and this it's at the bottom too i mean it's kind of cute but i i don't think so on that if i'm being honest so let me put all this stuff back in the box i will go take care of patches she probably has to go out and then i'll be right back with you for the trial so i have the first sweater on from letty and me this is the Auburn long sleeve sweater. Dark gray, medium, petite, $46 for Stitch Fix. That's probably about par for the course. It's sleeve length is perfect. It's it's like a, it's still a lightweight sweater, but warm. Neckline is perfect. It's like slightly a, like right a, it's right around my collarbone. I think the fit length at first of all is perfect. I have just a pair of Under Armour leggings on today, just very casual. Um, you know, you can see here's the back. There's plenty of room in it. Nothing is like the bottom opening is not snug or tight right there. I like this more than I thought I would. This you could wear this casually with jeans, dress it up, put a beautiful necklace on, some nice jewelry, bracelet, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, but so far, this isn't. This might be a keeper. This one. So then, I'm going to do the very next one on the paper, which is this one, which is the turtleneck. I love the pattern. I just I'm not sure about the turtleneck. I, it would. I think it's going to choke me. But I will be right back, and we'll give this one a try. I have the next sweater from Pink Clover, the Curse Turtleneck Sweater. Uh, red medium petite $48. I love it. I just wish it wasn't a turtleneck. If it was a mock, you know, um, just a regular collar. Sleeve length is perfect. The color is beautiful. I, I mean, I'm not a big red wearer, but for holidays or, you know, I think I have one or two red shirts. That's about it. Once again, I have leggings on. Length is at the top of my leg. So could I wear this with leggings? Yeah. Uh, probably not. Here's the back. A little side shot. I mean, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Lightweight again. Um, not super bulky and heavy, but warm. Black, white, and red. And this is, in my opinion, very, very pretty. I like it. <clears throat> Next is this black top. And this was the Nine Britain... Um, Chiavari collared long sleeve knit top in black medium. I usually shy away from stuff like this, but this one looks nicer. So let's give this a try. So this top is from Nine Britain. This is um, the collared long sleeve top in black. Let me just find it for a price. Uh, medium, $44. Well, first of all, the sleeves are way too long. I mean, you can see, it's like, it's all you see is like my nails, which, you know, it's, it's, you can't have it too bulky up here. It just doesn't look like if I would, it just doesn't look great. It's sloppy. So the sleeves are too long. I, I actually don't mind this one. And I want to tell you why. They're slits. So it relieves it so that it's not like skin tight. I love the collar. The button down I think the fit is perfect for me I mean it's not like showing every little thing I mean you know some things you don't mind the fitted a little bit like here's the back a little side shot here this is actually very cute I don't know if I'd pay $44 for it and then the sleeves yeah I could just tuck them up and you wouldn't it would it would not come down I can show you just real fast I would just tuck the sleeve up up inside itself and then it would take away all that bulk I wouldn't turn it the other way now 
Um, so this, I, I'm going to probably think about this one, um, but I think maybe no on this. But this is actually very nice, and this is warm because it's closed. It's still lightweight, but it would keep you warm. Good layering piece. So what do we have next? Oh, this one. This one I know I'm not going to keep because I don't like the one. I have tops like this, and I don't like the banding at the bottom, but let's give this a fair chance and try this on. I think Stitch Fix got me on this one. Pink Clover Scotta Hooded Knit Top. Olive Medium, $44. I wanted to say no right off the bat. The sleeves are fine, slightly long, but nothing I can't, that I'm not used to. Has a hood. This, and I'll be a button down. Here you can see the hood in the back. You can see the fit. There's lots of room. But the, and I'll show you this way. The banding is loose. I wish there were like pockets, but it's not super like stuck to you and like making you a sausage roll. It's it's a loose fitting bottom. Now I have leggings on today. Um, could I wear this with leggings? Absolutely. Would I wear it with jeans? No, because it's too long for jeans. But what about wearing it with leggings? I mean, yeah, here's the top of my leg. So you can see it's longer, but it's loose at the bottom. So it's not, I checked in the mirror as I tried it on, it's not clingy. This is my trouble area. Yes, it is getting smaller, but um, you know, I still have a little belly there, a little pooch, but um, this I actually like. So sadly, I know I'm not gonna like this, and this could have been like a good box, but it's still a good box, I think. I I'm, I'm doubt that I will keep everything. Letty and Me, Tamsin Long Sleeve Cardigan, Dark Gray, Medium. I'm going to put my own shirt back on and then I'll try this on and be right back with you. So I have the last item, Letty and Me, Tamsin Long Sleeve Cardigan, uh, Dark Gray, Medium, $48. Fair price for cardigans these days. I think it's cute like I don't mind the fringe here I actually don't mind the fringe at the bottom because I think it's kind of cute I don't like the fringe here it's too much um, like I'll show you if this was gone which I could make it disappear and just tuck it up I just think that it's too much with it all over the place like which one would you prefer I mean maybe some people like it I, I just around the hands is too much but it's cute I mean it's an open weave cardigan so it's not really it's going to be more just like a layer piece it's not going to be for warmth by any means but I think it's kind of cute um but I'm not sure that I would as is would wear it. like I think this would get on my nerves like if I was eating it'd be in the way I couldn't wear this and do dishes I'd have to get it out you know what I mean like I'd be afraid that it would get ruined but I have no idea. So I'm going to leave this on just because I'm cold and why not? And I'll be right back with you and give you my final thoughts. So I did read my stylist note. I have a different stylist and I tell them to keep the same stylist. I don't know why they switch, but I'm not going to split hairs with Stitch Fix and beyond that. So some box information. The box Subtotal is $230. If I bought all five pieces, I would save 25% and save $57.50 for a box total of $172.50, which is not bad. Um, to be honest, and like I said, this is fix 73 for me. So what I'm going to do is just toss that. Get it out of the way. I left this on. I really like this and it's warmer than I thought. I just have my long sleeve t-shirt on from Temu, Temu which is not, it's warm, but it, uh, it was still a little chill. But with this on, I feel much better. I just don't, I'm not a fan of this on the hands. I don't mind it elsewhere. I think it's kind of cute, different, um, but the hand part, no. And you could not get that off there the way it's sewn. And I'm not tucking it up and dealing with all that, not for the price. So this will be a no. This surprised me because of the length, but I don't know if I would pull for it, the hoodie. So I'm going to think about that. That's a think about. This one, 
also surprised me. It's a little fitted, not like totally fitted where you can see every lump and bump and every like bra mark and straps and all that. Um, comfortable, warm, but I'm not sure. So I want to think about this one. A lot of think abouts. I love this, but I'm not sure about the turtleneck. Um, I don't have anything that's a turtleneck because usually they are like suffocating. I just, I love everything else about it. So I'm going to think about this one. A lot, like I said, a lot of think abouts. This one I absolutely love. Could dress it up, dress it down. Gray dress pants, black dress pants, um, black jeans, gray jeans. I would wear this with blue jeans. Um, I just think this is adorable. I'm just not sure on the print. It's a little boxier of a sweater. Um, and like, you know, straight up and down, no, you know, no real shape. But I, I think the pattern is interesting and gives some, just some change to just a solid sweater or a stripe or a color block, things like that. So let me know your thoughts on that sweater, the gray one. I really like it. Let me know what you thought, how it looked. Was it too boxy? You know, I'm not sure on that. So they are my thoughts on the box. Like I said, this is a definite. I just wish it didn't have all the fringe because it really is cute. And, um, but that is definitely going back. So one that I really like that I want your opinion on, one no, and then these three I'm going to think about. But if I like all four pieces, of course I'm going to keep the corner again and I'll suck up and tuck the fringe in because if you start buying things separately, you're way over, you know, I'm not paying $230. I can save $57 and get a free item and have all this be $170. I don't know if it's worth it. So I have to do, that's why I said I have to do some thinking. Like I initially was thinking about that sweater and the red sweater. I didn't realize this was a turtleneck when I first saw them. But, you know, right there alone, they are, you know, 48 and 44. You know, you're, you're getting a, encroaching the close to the hundred dollar mark. So is it worth it if I like these other two just to keep all four, keep the fifth and just wear that occasionally because, you know, so I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on all that. And I appreciate you sticking till the end with me here. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I can't believe like it's, I think we'll, by the time you see this, it will be December. I'm actually filming this at the last week of November. Um, but, uh, Holidays are approaching, people. I am not ready, and I don't know if I will ever be ready, to be honest. So much going on. So have a good day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.